Hello y'all, how you doing? How you doing? One of those crazy car angles. Today's the last day that the kids have before going back to school. And so there's lots of like little tiny errands that I need to run and um, I thought it'd be fun y'all just come along because I'm taking the kids by myself. No, we're just getting out of the house. It feels good to get out of the house. Too much stagnant energy in the house. Step one, gas. And I was able to get gas and put on my makeup at the same time, thanks to the long, long, long lines at Costco. Now we're at the Holy Grail, the one, the only, Target. Grayson's sleeping. I'm gonna put him in a cart laying down. Penny is wide awake. Grayson got up like a dawn's crack this morning, like at 4 a.m. His sleep schedule is all kinds of whack, which is not good because school's starting. So hopefully we'll get back on track. Anywho, all right. Target, here we come. And I know for a fact someone's going to request B-A-R-B-I-E. Not that one. The other one that you can't see. <laughs> the cool thing about Starbucks is that they're in a lot of the Targets. Can I say Mango Dragon for refresher? No. That one's mine. And, oh, is that the croissant? Sorry? Is that the croissant? Yes. Awesome. And we already have Penny's order and my order and Grayson's sleeping. What do you say? Good Okay. Should we get you a napkin? That might be a good idea. All right, so we just finished at Target. Penny got a new Barbie. She's very happy. Penny, what kind of Barbie is that? Head? Head? No, that's not right. We went in for toilet paper and we came out with Barbie. Look. Yeah, I'm looking. The dummy. It's a doctor. <laughs> and Grayson is awake from his nap, but he's pretty content. He's in a new phase where he likes to eat apples whole. Mmm, apple. And hey, I am mad at it. Other than he just sometimes will take like two bites of an apple and then go for the next one. So there's that. But overall, we try and keep the apples out of his reach. And he is happy right now because he has an apple. For those of you that are thinking that I'm a horrible mom for not getting Grayson something, he's a bookaholic. I got him a book. And he doesn't have shoes on because he chucked them. I'm about to be able to not be able to drive. Like, this is how much room I have. It's almost there. Little people problems, because if I go further back, I can't reach the pedals. <laughs> so now I'm leaving the bank. I didn't even get out of the car. It's a beautiful Sunday. Penny's now sleeping, and I am, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, because I only have one stroller, and usually Grayson doesn't like to walk, ironically, because the rolls have reversed. So um, I have a bunch of returns from the holidays that I need to do. I'm gonna try and do it, and I don't wanna carry the kids because I'm pregnant. So, I may not be able to vlog it, but we're on our way to the R to the O to the double S. Penny, Grayson, returns. And we're gonna walk into Ross, and then they have stroller. They have a stroller in there where Penny's gonna go. Hold on, Penny, you have to walk with me, okay? Here we go. There you are, my handsome man. We are signing escrow papers on our first home. And I think we're both kind of sad about it just because we both love the house. It's our first home. We had a lot of good memories in this home. Have anything else to say? No, let's do it. All right. If you follow me, baby. <laughs> You got this, buddy. Like, what is that? <laughs> 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 
It's never guaranteed that it'll go through, but escrow has been signed and we'll see. just leaving we haven't really had a date and what a better time to have a date than today in celebration gonna go see some Star Wars Star Wars with my man Adam Driver I'm like semi obsessed with him ever since I saw the report the blank report <laughs> that it. you still haven't seen and I've begged you to see it and whatever. It's such a good movie. I love that you're like, I'm going to go see a movie with my man. I thought you were talking about me and then you're like, Adam Driver. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have two men and they're both in theaters right now. And of course, Joe's my number one man. But I really enjoy, like thoroughly enjoy watching Adam Driver. I find him to be, I find it very rare that there can be an actor that can play a bad guy and a good guy. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that energy because you've seen him be evil like on Star Wars and then you see him play good guys. Maybe we should watch the marriage story together. Oh, killing me. Killing me softly with Adam Driver. We, Y'all are gonna think I'm su super crazy but I am completely obsessed with Jack Black. He just makes me so happy about life. Yeah, but... Jack Black's the bee's knees, man. Yeah, but no way I'm going to sit through two hours of The Rock just to see Jack Black. I like The Rock, actually. He's grown on me. When he first started acting, I was kind of appalled. And now it's kind of like I enjoy his movies. I like them all. I liked Jumanji, the first one. But I will say because I grew up with the original, I was like expecting that kind of, like that kind of movie. And it, you have to completely take it out. It's not the same at all as that original Jumanji. The original Jumanji hands down to me is the best. Nobody can, I mean like Robin Williams is like masterpiece. Once you have gotten over that and you're taking the new Jumanji as just a brand new movie called Jumanji, You'll enjoy it. That's that's debatable also. You don't want to go see Jumanji 2 because The Rock's in it? You love Tenacious D. We've gone to a Tenacious D concert. I love Jack Black, the, but he's not the main star of it. The Rock is. They're all equal. They're, he, the Rock's not the main star. Yeah, he is. He's top billing for sure. He's probably top billing, but they're all equal. Even Kevin is on like the mm, same level. They're not equal. The Rock got paid the most for that movie. It is interesting. I wonder, like, if I can look up what they made on that movie. You can. The Rock has top billing. How is that he open has, information? He's the biggest star of the movie. Jack Black second. And then Kevin Fart. <laughs> How can I go to the movies and not have popcorn? It's gonna be miserable. I'm gonna get an icy. Oh, we're getting popcorn. I can't have it. It's not vegan. It's not? No, all that butter, are you kidding me? Say no butter. No, it's already on the popcorn. No. You can't get butter-free popcorn. You can't? No. Have you ever been to a movie theater? Twice. If after this, you owe me like a romantic comedy or something. Ugh. It's not worth it. Let's just go home. Fine. Let's just go home. Okay. Don't Ooh. threaten me. Yes. I got out of the romantic comedy. So you don't see Star Wars? Which, by the way, I'm a little offended that I'm never the first person that you go to see Star Wars with. Don't be offended. You hate Star Wars. That's so not 
true. Mm. I wish eat ahead of time. Where? Find something in the mall. Vegan. Vegans are us. That'd be cool if there was a place called Vegans Are Us. Can you picture like Penny are both cracking up at my jokes? It's gonna be awesome. What about Grayson? <laughs> just leaving him out in the dark. He'll just be staring at me like <laughs> usual. Like I'm insane. Because he doesn't get your comedy. No, he doesn't. Only Penny does. What? I crack Penny up too so Grace, I can get everybody Grace laughing. Would be like, <laughs> I swear to God, I try to make him laugh uh -huh. and he's like, Because you're not funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We'll tell you how the movie goes. Star Wars. Here we come. Adam Driver. So, we just got here. The movie, we were like way early. And I was like trying to find a snack that was vegan. Because I'm doing this 30 to 8 vegan challenge. And come to find out, AMC popcorn is made with co coconut oil and is vegan. I didn't believe the chick. So then I just looked it up and this is what was written, which I'm pretty impressed by and I'm pretty happy by because I thought I was just gonna be having my icy. And then I found these other cool vegan snacks here called salaries. And look at the bottom, a little vegan. And whenever you're eating something processed, you just gotta like hope, <laughs> hope that they're telling the truth. I guess that's where the FDA comes in, right? Food and Drug Administration. Hmm, should be interesting. Anyways, it's a good sign. Good sign, good movie, good husband. Checking the sweater. Just leaving the movies and we're heading back to our children. I honestly like this movie more than the last one. Joe's indecisive. Driving. He's driving. Speaking of driving, I liked how, spoiler alert by the way, I like how you both hate and love Adam Driver in the same movie. So maybe that's not really a spoiler alert, but kind of. I really like this movie actually. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I love like a uh, more of the Hollywood ending energy rather than the make you feeling like you want to curl up in a ball and cry energy. You are all about the Hollywood ending. I love a good Hollywood ending. So, I, I feel like it, it makes me sleep better. Like if I watch a horror movie, I gotta watch a comedy after. I don't then I'm kicking and screaming in bed and Joe does not want to be in the same bed as me. I like that. No you don't. I actually I didn't think I was gonna like it and I'm I was pleasantly surprised. That's good baby so you didn't waste two and a half hours of your life. Two hours and 22 minutes and I found out that AMC popcorn is veg vegan. Bonus. Learn something new every day. Learn something new but don't put the butter on afterwards because then it's no longer vegan. That does it for now. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now. Sorry about the bumpiness. Sorry about the uh, camera angles. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog all for now. Best to you and yours. Bye.